Welcome back. I'm Grace Ogburn. And I'm Lorelai Fowler. And this is the, the Eye, Eye of, of the, the Hurricanes. Hurricanes. Our beta kids are back. Let's hear about their adventures in Savannah, Georgia. JCHS Beta Club went to Savannah for a state convention and placed in several events, including first in living literature and engineering. And they're getting ready to set off to Louisville, Kentucky. Wow, it's so pretty over there. It was pretty chilly for sure. Speaking of being cold, ensure that you're taking care of your winter car maintenance. Let's hear from Rep about caring for your car in this cold weather. With the winter coming on, it's a good idea to refresh the blinker fluid levels in your vehicle. Now, most people don't realize just how vital blinker fluid is to a vehicle's operation. Now, there's two sizes of blinker fluid. The 16-ounce bottle right here for non-commercial vehicles. Pedestrians, uh, minivans, small cars, stuff like that and this 24 ounce bottle for larger commercial vehicles such as this truck. When putting blinker fluid into your vehicle, it is important to find the correct reservoir. Refer to your vehicle's manual to find the correct reservoir. Once you've located the reservoir, pour the fluid to the max fill line and replace the cap. And as simple as that, you now have refreshed blinker fluid levels. Thanks for looking out for us, Rep. Let's follow up with our previous segment about Pong, where we discussed its 50th anniversary. Let's check it out. I've, I've done it. I've finally done it. My magnum opus. I've made brain cells play Pong. Bro, what is actually wrong with you? You've been in here for like four days. Have you eaten or drank anything? Like, are you okay? O okay? I'm more than okay. This research could advance the, uh, our understanding of the human brain in its entirety. Come, come. Take a look at this. Just simply think about how this could progress AI technology. The possibilities, they're endless. <laughs> you need to be imprisoned. You're insane. Super cool, man. Speaking of super, I was thinking the same thing. The, the Super Bowl! Do you know where the Super Bowl will be located this year? Uh, Arizona. In the Mercedes-Benz Stadium? Arizona. Be in Philadelphia? Uh, it's at the uh, Raiders Stadium. Uh, I don't know what it's called. In Las uh, Vegas. No, it is in Arizona. Who won, who won the first uh, Super Bowl? The Chiefs. Uh, it was the Packers. The Eagles. Steelers. The Packers. The Chiefs? It was the Chiefs. When was the first Super Bowl, though? 59? 1989. Earlier. Like, 1940? 57 years ago, I think. 1951. 1965. 67. What two teams have the most Super Bowl wins? Patriots. Steelers. Yeah. Patriots and uh... I don't know, just the, just the Patriots. Uh, the Cowboys and the Packers. The Patriots and the... I want to say Steelers. The Patriots and... The Cowboys? Steelers. Uh, Patriots and Steelers. Who do you think is going to win the uh, Super Bowl? Eagles or Chiefs? Chiefs. The Eagles. Eagles. Eagles? Chiefs. The Eagles, because they rock. Have you been to Dawson Trails recently? I heard they have rehabilitated raccoons. Ooh, let's hear more about that. Welcome to Dawson Trails, your one-stop, non-profit nature center where you are blessed with having the opportunity to witness little guys in their element. We spoke to the raccoon's main caregiver, and she told us a lot about the raccoons and how they tick. Ever since I was little, I really wanted to work with animals, so I do all of our field trips here at Dossett. I love teaching the younger generation about our animals and how we can better protect our, our animals that are around and, um, and their environment. So every day they get a variety of different things. They get chicks, um, which is their meat source. They are omnivores, so they eat um, meats and like fruits and vegetables and stuff. 
Um, they love corn, um, oranges, apples, grapes. We don't give them official names, but if they come to us as names, we do keep them. Um, so our, our ra three raccoons, their names are Remy, Jasper, and Klutzy. Um, so we don't want people to think that they can have wild animals as pets, so that's why we don't give them official names. So if you do see an injured or orphaned um, animal that you think needs help, um, you can definitely call our front office and we can kind of assess the situation. Um, sometimes our, our main goal is to try to get them back with their mom or whoever can take care of them. Um, we would never want to take an animal that could be taken care of by its um, parents. Um, but if you do find that it's truly orphaned or it's definitely injured, you can bring it here um, if you can safely, you know, relocate it. If you can't, you're welcome to call your local DNR and um, hopefully an agent can come out and, and help you take care of that and bring it here for us to take care of from there. I've never seen them like fully in the water, maybe in summer a little bit more, definitely not in winter, um, but they do wash their hands like 24 seven while they're eating and they wash all their food. Um, so it's pretty funny, especially when we give them grapes. They do kind of growl at each other. Um, they can make like a high pitch noise. Um, they do have a lot of different, like you just heard that one, but that's just kind of them being like, hey, it's my turn for a peanut. <laughs> Well, aren't they the cutest things you've ever seen? It's quite sad that we have to say goodbye, but all good things must come to an end. Thank you for allowing us to share this experience with you all. They must get a little smelly from time to time, though. Well, I bet. But that's okay, because TSA is selling uh, car air fresheners. They come in so many different scents, like peppermint and more. Also, while we're shamelessly promoting things, we have two 3D printed roses with floral scents. So quit messing around. Just do it. All I can say is no. You're a freshman in high school. Next week you'll have a new crush and you won't have any more problems about this stuff. I don't see why it really matters that okay, much. Okay, let's it's end on that note. I'm Lorelai. And I'm Grace. And this is the Eye, Eye of the Hurricanes. Hurricanes. I love you. I love you too, man. I love you. I don't know if it's just like the, the season, season of love. love but I, I just... Here. Just...